Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Warner, SAT Math Guru and Associate Professor of Mathematics. I've been tutoring SAT Math for the last 12 years and have helped over a thousand students with their performance, many getting a perfect 800 or near perfect score. I'm glad you're watching this clip because what I'm going to tell you may be the most important information you will ever hear in your academic life. In this video, I will teach you how to prepare for SAT math in the most effective way while investing the minimum amount of time. There are three key components to SAT math preparation. Learning strategies, practicing problems, and taking practice tests. Ideally, you should begin the most extensive part of your SAT preparation three to four months before taking your SAT. More than this can cause you to burn out prematurely. Less than this, and you may not get quite enough practice. All three components can be done simultaneously within this time. Let's talk about each component in more detail, beginning with strategy. If you want an 800 in math, it is very important to know as many SAT-specific math strategies as possible. If you learn just two to three strategies per week, you will be able to get through every one before test day. Whenever you come across a problem where a specific strategy can be used, you should attempt the problem using that strategy. This means that you may wind up solving many problems in several different ways. In fact, I recommend trying to solve each problem in up to four ways. Using an SAT-specific strategy, the quickest way you can think of, the way you would do it in school, the easiest way for you. For many problems, some of these methods might be the same, and each of these methods might not be relevant to every problem. This is just a general guideline. Why would I ask you to solve a problem so many ways? because the actual solution is not important. You will never see that specific problem on the SAT. When preparing for the SAT, you want to be exposed to as many techniques as possible. This will not only increase your current score, but it will also increase your level of mathematical maturity, which will raise your potential score. So let's talk a little bit more about the second component, practice. You should practice SAT math problems for 10 to 20 minutes per day. Yes, you heard that correctly. 10 to 20 minutes per day is all you need for general practice. If your SAT is less than four months away, I want you to choose a 20 minute time slot right now that you will dedicate to SAT math prep. Now, what should you do during these 10 to 20 minutes? First, you should either learn one new math strategy or quickly review one that you already know. Remember, you're only learning two or three strategies per week, so most days you will just be quickly glancing over one you already know. Keep this strategy in mind as you practice and apply it whenever possible. Next, you want to choose one of the four topics, number theory, algebra and functions, geometry, or probability and statistics. Each day you should choose a different topic, and you should be hitting each topic once or twice per week. First, spend five to ten minutes attempting SAT problems you haven't tried before. Make sure to only do problems that are no more than slightly above your current ability level. For example, if you are struggling with level 4 geometry problems, then please do not spend time on level 5 geometry problems just yet. You can work on those in a few more weeks after you become proficient in level 4 geometry. During these short sessions, clearly mark off any questions that you get wrong. You will be doing those again next time you come back to this topic. For the second half of your study session, you will redo problems from this topic that you have previously gotten wrong. If you get it right, you can unmark it and never look at it again. If you still get it wrong, keep it marked off. You will attempt it again in another week or so. Redoing problems you have gotten wrong is more important than doing new problems. This is what separates the students that improve drastically from the students that show average improvement. Remember, you learn from your mistakes, not your successes. The third component is practice tests. You should take at least four practice tests before the SAT, approximately one per month. Ideally, you should use actual SATs or at least tests created by the College Board. You should take your practice tests on a Saturday or Sunday morning and make sure you time yourself correctly. This is the time when you are making sure you are implementing the strategies you have learned correctly under time conditions. To make the most effective use of this time, make sure you mark off the questions you got wrong and throw them into the group of questions you will be reattempting at your short study sessions. Also, keep track of your scores so that you can make sure you are showing improvement. One last note about practice tests. 
Initially, it's okay to just do the three math sections. But for your last two practice tests, you should do a full SAT, math and verbal included. I even like to insert one extra math section to simulate the experimental section. This will ensure that you practice taking the test for the full length of the actual SAT. So, to summarize, if you learn SAT-specific math strategies, practice for 10 to 20 minutes per day, and do at least four practice tests over a period of three to four months, you should have no problem significantly raising your score in SAT math. I have been teaching this method for 12 years now and have had many students get near perfect to perfect scores. For more information on how you can get an 800 in SAT math, or to have specific questions answered by me personally, please click on the link below. Thank you.